Hello folks, this is Tom with Edward Jot Sales. Today we're looking at a 2009 Carver 47 foot motor yacht. It has an 18 foot bridge clearance. And this vessel is immaculate. You can see as we come down the side how shiny it is. The wax is excellent. Going up. It's a little overcast today, but it still shows pretty, pretty good. The swim platform is outstanding. I'll just step aboard. Hydrotherapy. Nice aft deck to lounge on. This door here comes right out of the master stateroom. So it's like having a private veranda, if you will and be great for fishing. And we go up, molded in staircase to the sun deck. That where we were just at was called the uh, cockpit. This is a sun deck. Wonderful seating up here. Uh, the material is all in good shape. Hard top cover. Icing glass looks pretty good. And we have a wet bar here. With an ice maker, of course. Again, molded in stairs going up to the fly bridge. We have glass doors going out to the port and starboard side decks. Note this little door here. Isn't that cool? All right. Again, very clean, very shiny. And we're headed up forward now. Good grab rails going all the way up. Nice lounging area up here. Catch a great tan. And a searchlight. And it looks like we have a fortress type plow anchor and a Maxwell 1500 windlass. I don't know if you will be able to see down there today, uh, but uh, we have all chain road. And let's see if that will focus down there. And we'll head back down the starboard side here. This vessel has just been waxed recently. It's very well maintained. And a quick trip up to the fly bridge. And we have more seating up here. Looking out the aft icing glass on the flybridge. It's a settee to starboard here. Here's your control console. It has bow and stern thrusters, which can be controlled by this little gizmo right there, remotely. Raymarine E80 multifunctional. 
navigation device. There we go. This vessel has also just had a brand new autopilot installed right here. The seats are in very good condition. They look brand new. And we have uh, some cup holders up here. And a little bar type thing there. Now we'll go inside. Back down to the sun deck. and see if my camera will focus in here. And let's take a look right here. And down we go. All right, yeah. Okay, on the starboard aft bulkhead, there's lots of cabinetry for your goodies. Looks like we have sound system up here. It's a six disc changer. And this one here has your electrical control panel. 12 volt on top, 110 on the bottom very easy everything is labeled and let's see the swing over to the port side here's your entertainment system I think that's a 42 inch television if I'm not mistaken air conditioning controls These barrel chairs are very comfortable. I, uh, I know because I was sitting in one just a moment ago. And let's look on down to the galley here. There's a dinette to starboard. The galley is as you would expect, just very well equipped. It's got a sharp convection type microwave stainless steel sink. Two burner cooktop and a Nova Cool refrigerator freezer. And we'll go into the master. Well, this is not the master, this is a Ford stateroom. Could be a master, I guess, but it, the master's in the stern. And there's a hang up closet in here. Cedar lined, of course, and it's lighted. Plenty of uh, stowage in here with cabinets going down either side, port and starboard. You have another television here. There are three TVs in this boat, one in each stateroom and one in the salon. There's a clarion sound system there. And if I don't make you dizzy, I'll swing over here, and there's your comfort control right there on the wall. And we'll look over here, open this door, and we have a standalone shower in here. This is not connected with the toilet area. Standalone, nice little seat in there. That's on the port side. We'll swing around to the starboard side. And you have a private entrance to the head here. The head is very well appointed. Medicine cabinets and storage cabinets up above. High end faucet. That looks like granite, but it's actually a type of Corian. It's more durable than granite. And there's another door here that goes right back out into the galley. Now let's head out into the galley and we'll look back and try and give you a picture here. Now that's the access from the galley. Close that. That's access to the master. And the master has a door with access to the same head. Let's 
So if this door here in the stateroom is closed, people can access through this door without disturbing the occupants. Ultra leather dinette. Beautiful cherry wood furnishings throughout. Uh, okay, now let's take a look in the master. Uh, we're headed down into the master now. Two, three, four steps down. And right here immediately, and to port, we have another hang up closet in here. There's a couple things stored in there. Cabinetry everywhere. And there's that access to the cockpit or the back deck I was telling you about. Would be nice to step out there at night and sit down with a glass of wine and look at the stars. There's another television in here. I think that one may be a 32 if I'm not mistaken. And a nice little vanity. Vanity does have a mirror in it, as you can see. I'll put that back down. More storage for all those little necessities. And the hit. Got a glass enclosed shower stall. A big man can get in there. There's plenty of room. There's a seat in there. Here's your sink area. Again, high end faucet, stainless sink, medicine cabinet. And toilet. Now folks, this vessel has about 275 hours, 275 hours on the main engines. It's got less than 60 hours on a 10 kilowatt generator, which will easily run all three air conditioners in this vessel. This is like buying a new vessel. She's very nice. And better than that, she's priced right. But anyway, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. And good day to you.